Y'all, guess where we're going today? One of my favorite places in the world. <sighs> the library. I love the library. When I was little, I would go to the library all the time with my mom. I just remember how big and magical it was to me, and libraries are still very magical to me today. So I wanna show you some recent books that I picked up from the library that are fueling my creativity. I am a photographer and you can see my other videos on my channel with my photography. And with that, I often go for photo books when I go to the library. But I also like to venture outside of photo books because while it is great to take a look at other people's photos and grab inspiration from that, I also like to grab my inspiration elsewhere. So let's start with the first book. The first book I'm going to show you guys is Accidentally Wes Anderson by Wally Caval, and the foreword is actually written by Wes Anderson, which I think is so, so cool. Wes Anderson is an amazing American filmmaker. He's made some amazing movies like Grand Budapest Hotel, Fantastic Mr. Fox, Moonrise Kingdom, and more. This book is so stunning to look at. So this is actually a book created by uh, the original, I didn't know this before I picked up the book. And this is what I think is so great about just kind of going to the library and grabbing what sticks out to you, what catches your eye, because I didn't know this before I grabbed this book. I brought this book home and I discovered that accidentally Wes Anderson, it started out as an Instagram page and they just shared places from around the world that look like they could belong in a Wes Anderson movie. I thought it was super cool too because in the USA portion of this book, there is a few locations from my hometown. I grew up in a little beach town in San Diego and there is actually a location that I'm familiar with, which I thought was really cool to see. And it's so neat to know that you can find such whimsical, grand locations in even the most normal of places. It just got my mind wandering and that is the beauty of picking up a book like this. The next book I'm going to share with you all is a, I guess, biographical book. It is on the work by self-portrait American artist Cindy Sherman and I actually didn't know about Cindy Sherman before I picked this book up. I just thought it looked very interesting and I kind of flipped through some pages and was really taken aback by her work and decided to pick it up. That is something that's so cool about the library is you can kind of just grab whatever and if you end up not liking it, that's okay because it was free, you didn't pay anything for it, and you can always return it if you weren't really feeling it, if it wasn't really your thing. But I did pick up this book on Cindy Sherman and her work and her kind of journey as an artist and self-portrait artist, and I really felt connected to her work because when I was first exploring photography, I actually didn't take photos of 
other people. I spent about a year doing just self-portrait photography myself because I wanted to experiment and I just wanted to kind of do that in the safety and comfort of photographing myself. This book is so cool because it explores Cindy's work and how her artistic craft kind of developed through the years from the 70s to the 80s to the 90s to the early 2000s and she plays with she went through some points in her work where she only worked with black and white and then she went through some periods where she worked with color photography and then she uses some digital in her work now and I think it's so cool to see to observe in another artist's a long career and long process and see how they've evolved and also learning about her work was kind of oddly enough like gave me permission to explore and push the boundaries with my own work it kind of elevated my thinking when it came to my own work and what I'm creating so I think uh, that that was the biggest thing that I got out of reading about her and picking up this book the next book that I'm going to talk about is Video Art by Michael Rush. It definitely breaks down the birth of video art, who key players in the video art movement were, and kind of where we're at now for video art. And it was so eye-opening. And again, you know, my main craft is photography. I would like to get into making short films and things like that. So I'm always interested in consuming video type content and things like that. Video and photo are siblings. They're in the same family. And so if you're a photographer, especially, or, you know, if you do any other craft, but for photography, it's great to consume something like a video art book because it can give you tons of inspiration for your photography. Another thing I took away from reading this book was that video art was kind of provocative. With a lot of these video artists, they were really pushing the boundaries as far as maybe what we would say is acceptable for art. And I guess that's the thing with art is like, you should be able to push the boundaries and you should be able to kind of make people uncomfortable, get people thinking. Uh, so this was a good reminder for me seeing some of these artists, especially like in the 80s and stuff, they were doing some some very provocative stuff. And uh, But it was cool, it was inspiring to read about and see these visuals. Last but not least, and this one may surprise you a bit as far as a book that I picked up to spark my photographic creativity or my creativity as a whole, but this is actually a poetry book. And this poetry book is called There Are More Beautiful Things Than Beyonce by Morgan Parker. Morgan Parker is a very talented poet and writer. This book I really, really enjoyed because it is social commentary, but it's kind of a hyperbolic, romanticized way of talking about, of Morgan Parker's way to communicate to the world her thoughts and feelings. And I really loved it. I felt very inspired by it. So I want to go ahead and read a little couple excerpts from Morgan Parker's book so you can kind of like get a vibe for her work. So the first one is a really short one. This one's called Beyonce Celebrates Black History Month. I have almost forgotten my roots. Are not long blonde. I have almost forgotten what it means to be at sea. And then I'm gonna read a part of this poem. This one is Earth, Wind and Fire Reunion Tour 2013. Everything's exactly like old times, just like I will always fear. The level of psychology this week, high as yellow butterflies stroking my knee. I would say transformation, white linen leaks from my throat. Greetings, I hope this finds you well. Ignoring the size of the moon and kissing. Almost rain gives up on the concrete. Unwhole but close enough, unanchored. Tornado singing a song in skin casing and bell bottoms carrying absolutely everything. A people rolls too deep to count the dark pupils. 
one nation under smooth, hot storm. Part Joplin, part Jackson, kiss of Curtis. All right, so that is it for my library book haul. I hope you feel inspired and motivated to get a library card from your local library if you don't have one already. I think it's so wonderful to be able to have this free resource to go and consume something that is going to expand your mind and really seek and consume inspiring content. <laughs> and books are content, you know? I'm positive that you will be inspired when you grab a handful of books from your local library. And also, if you have a book that has brought you some inspiration recently, leave it in the comments below. I wanna know, I'm genuinely curious. I love getting book recommendations from my friends. Just expanding our minds and books are a fantastic way to do that. So comment below what books you all are reading and consuming for inspiration. And let me know if you loved any of these books that I talked about in my video and if you're gonna pick any of these up yourself. And I think I'm gonna make this into a continuous series because I'm always going to the library and I'm always grabbing different handfuls of books and I want to keep this communication flowing. I wanna know what you all are reading and I wanna share what I'm reading with you all as well to spark creativity and help us grow as artists. And that is gonna be it for this video. If you made it this far, please like this video and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for future videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.